The Visual Studio Color Theme Editor, available from the gallery, lets you change the way that Visual Studio looks. Uh, really, a, quite a dramatic set of changes. Let me show it to you in action. I'm going to bring up Visual Studio, and this is the default color scheme that I think we're all familiar with if we've been using Visual Studio 2010 at all. And when you have this uh, extension installed, you have this extra menu called Theme. And on here, I can pick some themes that ship with it. This one is called Autumn. Uh, lots of, obviously, earthy tones here. I uh, might prefer emerald, lots of green, or silver. Not a big surprise here. And actually, I, I prefer silver a little bit uh, to the default theme. But the cool thing is that you can, in addition to using these uh, built-in, or they're not built-in, but they're provided with the extension of Autumn, Emerald, and Silver, you can also make your own. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the default and then choose Customize Colors. And this lets me play around with the settings for these themes. Now, uh, you can't edit the built-in default theme, so I'm going to create a new one. And um, default copy is a reasonable enough name for it for now. And then I can play around. So, for example, I have a, a toolbox here with an auto-hide. If I go to the auto-hide tab background, there's two colors, begin and end, because this is actually a gradient if they're not set to the same color. And I'm going to grab this one and just start uh, yanking these sliders around uh, to try to make this color really obviously nowhere near blue. Okay? I would hope that most of you would put in a little more thought and effort into coming up with your color scheme. Uh, if I then say apply on that and OK on this, you see that the gradient is now going from blue to that red. Uh, and you can see, therefore, that I have obviously edited this theme. And we're using this default copy theme now. Which I could continue to edit, I could change its name, whatever I needed to do. And we have all of these uh, different possibilities, pages and pages of uh, colors that you can control using this theme editor so that you can uh, patiently and uh, carefully produce something that uh, feels comfortable and fun to work in. Now, there's more to this than just, I like green or I like brown. Um, that's certainly important, especially if you have any kind of color blindness or other issues that makes things either look too similar or too different to you in the themes that come with it, and that's a great product just for that. But also try to think a little creatively. Many of us open Visual Studio over and over again on different computers. We're on our own machine, then we open a remote desktop to some server, to uh, a virtual machine that we're debugging in, where we have different settings and different things going on. And if you set up a different theme for each machine or a different theme for each account under which you log into a machine, or any of the other kinds of different instances of Visual Studio that you need to tell apart, you could very quickly eliminate those issues of, oh, I forgot, I'm on the server, where you start browsing to the wrong file or whatever else you do, because Visual Studio itself would be reminding you. It's a little change that you can make just either to make your day-to-day -day life more pleasant or to solve an ongoing problem of never quite remembering exactly where you are. Either way, give the theme editor a try.